Let's start off with the prayer. Aquarius. Our rap. Oh my rap. Forgive. Forgive and have mercy. Forgive me and have mercy. You are the best of those who show mercy. Sword number 23. I am number 118. Guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a Cynthia Braxton Seed. I have another intuitive message. Keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what's not. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Again, with that King of Wands energy. That's another part of it I saw of it. Like, I saw from that energy. Somebody has a predator. I'm not talking about the child molested predator. A predator. He preys on women. He preys on mother figures. That's not the easiest thing to say, but it's a real thing to say, to be honest. If he comes out, the tower, see what I'm saying? You got the tower, and on the bottom, you got the hermit. Let's talk about this for a second. Let's mellow on this for a second. You also got the world at the bottom. These are major arcanists. Like, you've been led to believe... You've had, I see, it's like you got a premonition from the Most High. You see that light at the top of that tunnel? You got a premonition from the Most High. My apologies, I have to pause the video. You see this light? This is the tower card. Now you see the light at the top of the tower. You, I don't know if you woke up abruptly out your sleep or it's just like, like a snap, like something as fast as lightning. It, it feels like lightning. Okay. And it put, I think it puts you in hermit mode in a sense. It puts you in introspection. That's why I feel like it was. it's in a dream. You got premonition in a dream. Somebody is a, a, you got the real deal. What's the facts about this person? What's this person's resume? They're a predator. Which means they prey on spiritually inclined people, women. Okay. They energy harvest off of the off of those people. So this is somebody who likes to collect a slew of mother figures. That's how I mean it. Okay. They think they don't mean no harm, but they actually do themselves more damage than good because you can bounce back. You, the person, the collective I'm talking to, you can bounce back, but they take that for granted too. They them knowing that you're spiritually inclined, you're going to bounce back, so to speak. So they, they're fine with it, or they think they're fine with it. A personal issue reaches its resolution. Take time to breathe out. Because this person's a predator. That was part of what I what I kept picking up on. Okay, shuffle for Aquarius. Let me see something. Spring vast how they enjoy the stone of successful love. It's something about you stimulating loyalty, partnership, and friendship. This person may stimulate that or play into those those things it opens the heart chakra healing the auric field with unconditional love hope and joy see what i'm saying this person's a predator they prey on on people who nurse them back to health you know you come with, if you're you're a person who come with a lot of exuberance and a lust for life it's a sign that it's a sign of a new beginning that's why i see this it's a sign of a new beginning and a fresh step in life, radiating health, prosperity, and vitality. You're, you're led away to grow in a direction of your dreams and nurture yourself along the way. You deserve the riches that life has to offer you. This is what this person believes. I deserve to have what was taken from me. The, the, the victim becomes the predator kind of thing. If, they were, if somebody was robbed of something regarding their parental figures, they become the predator because it's an unhealed issue. Fresh step in life. Everybody is a fresh step in life. Or what I feel like this is almost a, like a fatal, even with this King of Cups with the judgment, it's become a fatal attraction. You don't realize it's a fatal attraction until you start seeing the shit in your dreams. Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Something about you that's strong wit, you only deal with the facts kind of thing. Like you don't operate too much from your emotions. That's not to be expected. That wasn't to be expected from this person. Ace of Wands is on the bottom of that. Hold up, lay this down. Ace of Wands, Five of Wands. It's the, it's the quality that you come to the table with, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. They weren't expecting this distance between you, okay? And you see that key on her chest? You got a direct contact with the Most High. So it was something they, they thought, they feel like it's owed to them. It may not be your, your, your like, 
your fault or your choice or something like that, but it's something you're supposed to learn from all of this yourself. This person is a predator. Oh my God. That's why you can feel somebody really heavy in your energy, but you know that they, they speak from like a, a broken place or a hurtful space. And you're trying to understand why they move like that. But in the meantime, you're still focused on yourself. So you think about it, but you don't worry about it at the same time. The King of Cups is like this person's like heavy. And this person is like like deeply in love or has a lot of deep emotions. You see the the the, the veins lit up. Like this, what you did to this person, you nursed this person back to health with this King of Cups and this discernment. Okay. In this person's mind. You are is that you're everything that they're supposed to have. And why not? Like it's in their heart space. A personal, what's the personal issue reaches a resolution? The seven of cups and a magician. That's not good. Take time to let's take, give me something on take time to breathe out. The six of swords. You need that time to yourself. And the two of cups. You took a break from this connection because you're in introspection. You don't know that this person is driving around looking for you, hoping to run into you. You don't know that this person, you could be picking up on it. You could be seeing like signs and synchronicities that remind you of this person because this person is heavy and on heavy in your emotional state. It's like you're a person, like if you're a healer, you're used to attracting people who need your help a lot. You know what I'm saying? But this is somebody who's under the influence a little bit, a lot of it, with the magician. Full moon and cancer. A personal issue reaches a resolution. That's in, that's somebody who's emotions, who, who... You're needed for way more than what's let on. It's more than what meets the eye. But you took a break from this connection. Look, as I pick the deck up, you got the emperor, the chariot is peeking out, and then when I pick the deck up, you got the eight of wands and the ten of swords, okay? It's like the worst of it, the worst of what I used to struggle through is over, and it, it was a, you, you healed this person, it happened relatively quick, okay? Like the healing <laughs> The healing process could have like it could have sped up the healing process for this person. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if they're spiritual. I feel like they could be spiritually led to move forward. But you see how he's looking back? He keeps looking back on this connection. So I, what I feel like it's a mutual respect that it's a it's a mutual thing where both of you are mis are not misled. Somebody's being somebody was misled because you didn't know this person was a predator like that. But this person is getting a dose of their own medicine is what I get from this. And all they do, they get high a lot about it. Okay, they don't know what to do. Like it's like a personal, this, this is an issue for this person. With this, in, they have an inability to let go. Okay, you're just as equipped as they are. So you're stronger than them in a sense. Can't, Emma? That doesn't surprise me. What's underneath it is the moon. This gives me that energy again. I put the diamond in the coat. I put the coat on her, the moon. Nobody knows that. Okay? The star is right underneath it. Okay? Aquarius, reason, look. All the emotions is in you. They, I mean, it's left with you, the heightened intuition. So you understand, you don't understand why this person, it's not that they don't want, they're not, verbal they're not vocal with how they feel about you but they're emotion they and they they're energetic about it like their emotions they're spiritual about it they're emotional well your emotional well-being it's hard to make a decision without their emotions in the mix it's submerged with yours like sometimes you can barely you can barely something which you barely being able to move without them there too but it's spiritual, so you can't see them, but you feel them. So somebody's gifts is further amplified. This is the Amethyst Phantom Quartz. This is about expression, gifts, and originality. It's prophetic energy, and it opens that crown chakra to channel creativity in all its forms. 
this person is 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 has a heightened um, a very heightened intuition just like you so you got the emperor operating out of the king of cups love is an understatement okay and individuality is encouraged and uniqueness and expression is embraced by a stone when you're not careful when you have these abilities and you're strong like that He's stronger. He it's like you help them tap into it. So he's a, he's a better person because of you, as they say. But he's a better person because he should want to be a better person. But it's, it's all inspiration because of you. It instills confidence in your creations and urges you to share your talents. Using intuition as a powerful resource. Yes, him using his intuition now is is very powerful. He realized his power it is a very powerful resource. If not careful, it could, it can almost come off very fatal. Like he is almost too easy to prey on people now. It connects you with your spiritual team to convey your ideas in a way that will stand out. So do yourself a favor and show the world what you got. Bruh, ain't nobody about to play with this, this emperor operating out of his intuition with the moon and the star. Like he's deeply spiritual and deeply intuitive with these king of cups and the judgment. Like his discernment is on a thousand. It's on 25. Thank you. It's on a thousand right now. Heightened intuition. I don't need this anymore. What is your, okay. So what is your intuition? What has your intuition been telling you? Can you make this up? That fell out, the Ace of Swords. That you have mental clarity. What about, I told you, you saw it in a dream state. God came to you and told you this person is, is a predator, okay? And I put that on the Eight of Swords. Well, give me one for the Queen of Swords. You see how she's holding that sword? That's the Ace. You see what I'm saying? Like, you see this? You could think about this person a lot. And don't know that the Eight of Swords is like somebody walking up on you and you don't know where the attacks is coming from. You know, you don't know where shit be coming from. But with the Ace of Swords on top of it, you've been given the clarity. And the next card next after that is that Queen of Swords, like you're holding on to, to God's mercy or unwavering hand, unwavering support. Like that's him. Because you don't know what the hell was going on. You just know you felt some type of way. But if you look at the Ace of Wands, it's looking directly at this Queen of Swords. This could be the most high. I'm sorry, I can't breathe right. The most high showing you your higher self. Sometimes when you hear a lot of readers say you and somebody's connecting telepathically and you're it's your higher self, and you don't know if it's a gen plan in your energy or if it's really that person. And that's interesting that it came that it came out like that. Because one thing about it is. You see this two of cups and the six of swords. This is taking time to breathe out. This is you moving to a peaceful space about it. Okay. About this connection. You know that you need space. Because for you to be so distant with this person, you're so like connected. Like it's you're immersed in each other's energy. So what? Give me one on the Queen of Swords. The Tower. Again, that was the first card out was the Tower, the Queen of Swords. Okay? A revolution. Something, you know something had to give. And I said something about the lightning. What did I, didn't I tell you something? It's like, shit. It's like it came in the form of lightning or in the form of, of God talking to you. Now look at this tower card. You see the lightning? There's something to that. God was talking to you. You could have just recently experienced a, a rainstorm or a thunderstorm where you're at, and that lightning, that it spoke to you in a way that it typically doesn't. But everybody knows that's the most high when it's thunder and lightning. That's him talking. What's the ace of wands? The fact that you have so many major arcanas is telling a lot. Like this, this is what you're picking up on. It sounds like, yeah, on a on a on a on a practical sense, somebody's a better person because of you. I gotta blow my nose. Hold on. So as I was saying, look, same cups is on the bottom. Your intuition has been telling you. 
that your gifts have been further amplified. So you're able to see people for who they truly are. It's like you can see somebody's inner spirit. Even if they don't see it in themselves, it's a higher calling for you. You you're led to you're you're led, you're leading people, not like God, but you're showing people a different way out of darkness. Or how to handle, you know, when you experience the winter void. What's the ace of wands? I feel frustrated. So someone feels a little frustrated with the take time to breathe out with the six of swords, like rest, focus on your peace and tranquil. Like, I feel like I can't get my words out. The king of pentacles in reverse is somebody who's non-religious. Somebody who's off their dean in a way. And look what's on the bottom, the ace of wands. What's the, the yeah, somebody's off their religion. Who haven't been operating from a space of religion and wonder why they got shitty people all in their sector, all in their surroundings. Five of Wands. Well, they don't, they're not even made to realize the people around them are shitty. They're choosing to be shitty. So you're choose you're attracting other shitty people. The five of wands. The magician in reverse, which this magician says the witch is in reverse. You can't, that story don't stick about you being something you're not with the seven of cups and the magician. Illusions, that is a witch. Personal re, personal issues reaches a, a resolution. Full moon in cancer. Somebody nursed and nurtured and mellowed over this concept. Assassin, I just feel like a lot of your character was assassinated. Because they were scared of their feelings. So they let people roll with, with what they think. Okay? And that, that's in reverse. The five of wands is conflict. And I think that's the karmic retribution. This is why the aces are here. And so many major arcanas are here. Because when you try to trick the people, you attract other tricksters. So somebody made themselves to be on some abracadabra shit. Some emotional manipulative shit. With the, with the seven of cups and the magician. Okay, they made you think they was something they wasn't. And try to make it like it was you. And it wasn't. So, and that's right on top of conflict. Somebody created distance between you and your person. Okay? They had your perception all fucked up about your person. And they came off like a predator. That's why you see them as a predator now. Because they're around some, you've been, you've been led to, I just feel like somebody tried to instill fear in you and it didn't, it never even touched you. What the fuck you got to be scared of? You dig what I'm saying? Like expression gives originality. You really have a gift. Someone else was manipulative or someone used their gifts for darkness. Okay. That's why the first card is a tower. It's like that shit, that faulty foundation is coming down. Maybe this, and now this emperor operating in the King of Cups is full of obsessive ideas. Like it runs through their veins. That's why I said something about an attachment in the other reading. Like, look how his veins light up. Or that can represent the lightning in the tower, a spiritual fucking awakening, a spell reality check. Like, remember who you are. Something about like Simba. Remember who you are, like the five, the forefathers of his past. You see all the king, the great kings before you. Remember who you are with the emperor and the king of cups. You are, you are gifted. You letting these witches talk you out of your shit. Energy harvest off of you, okay? That's what I'm talking about. There it is. You letting these, these witches energy harvest off of you. Okay, and you met someone who's a counterpart for you and you good and goddamn well got the common sense to know that and the spiritual abilities to know that with the expression, gifts and originality, like you you got the, the, the open crown chakra to know that. You have the heart chakra, open heart chakra to know that. You know why? Because when this person came around, they displayed a different side of you. This person is, is a source of peace. They come from the source of peace, taking time to breathe out. You only want to be around this person when that witchcraft is overwhelming for you. 
So what does that tell you about that person? Is what the is what the is where I get the premonition coming in where the the um the ancestors, the forefather of the great kings that came before you. Like the most high came to you in a dream. There are also people from this person's ancestry, as well as could have been God coming to this person too. What came and woke this person up? Something about you started karma, started the karmic cycle where people get put in their place. With the Leo moon, you got a lot of bite. That's why I see that King of Wands is spiritual. That King of Wands is, um, it was predatorial as well. Okay, so hanging around witches has this person coming off as a predator. Causing conflict between you and them. That, that's, it's creating a separation between you and them. But it's also a dispeller. It can't be, you can't dispel the truth with a lie. It doesn't count. You dig what I'm saying? It doesn't work like that. That's why the magician is in reverse on top of the five of wands. It's conflict. It was an illusion. It was an illusion. It was bullshit. You see, you're letting, you're letting, you're letting, you're letting things happen. Like I said, because I have a big, I have a big ass attitude right now. Okay. It's just the, it's just the, the energy I'm picking up on. It's like, this says witch on it. Okay. Heightened intuition, size supernatural abilities. Okay. And it's in reverse. This was somebody who meant y'all, either him or you, no harm. I think it's him because you're the one in introspection. So what's the Queen of Pentacles? It's a lot I want to say right now that I can't say, that I'm not going to say. Why are you being a punk about it? Say what the fuck you want to say. That's for somebody. You looking at these, these tricksters like it's a lot. It's like I can call you out. It's like don't post empty threats to somebody. Telling them it's a lot that, that they, like you know that you, they. I guess this person realized what, what the truth and what the lie was. And it's like, now you're threatening them. You didn't tell them that I know you're, I, I, it's like his way, indirect way of saying, I know what you did or what you about behind closed doors. Like the gift is always the man, but the tricksters is like, you need me. Tricked him into thinking or persuading him into thinking that he needs them. And that's not true. And he didn't realize that until you. So the full card is on top of the queen of pentacles. You went down that dumb at fool's gold. This is chasing fool's gold, but this is also uh, taking a risk with the person who has the key. Now, she has a key right here. The key to what? That's the queen of pentacles in the upright. This is the king of pentacles in reverse on top of that ace of wands. You see the key right there? The keyhole right there? You see that? And she has the key. She has direct access. That is her source. Is the most high. And that, that that king of pentacles is that emperor operating in that king of cups energy. That obsessive is giving me obsessive energy. Use discernment with this person. He's coming, he's gonna come off very predatorial, or you got the premonition that the reason you've been feeling that way is because he's already approached you in a predatorial fashion. Because he he wants he wants your healing, he wants your love, he thrives off of it. You want your motherboard. Somebody is sick of sleeping with regular bitches. Because now I hear from cruel intentions. I'm sick of sleeping with these Manhattan debutantes. Nothing shocks them anymore. Is the whole deck upside down? No. No. Okay. Page of Wands is in reverse. And on the bottom is the Queen of Swords in reverse. Liars. That's liar, liar. Nine of Swords. Somebody has been up all night trying to get this right with the Nine of Cups. How can I, how can I, how can I get a victory? I need a lick. They think it, they see this person clearly with the, um, Expression, the gifts, you know, the intuition is this powerful resource. So how do you let somebody block you, block your intuition for clout? 
He's getting punished for that. Yeah, he's obsessed with you. So somebody put a love, a, a manipulated emotions. If he, what's the predatorial nature of him is, is coming off emotionally manipulative. And he's paying a, he's paying a generous ass price for it. Look, even the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords is in reverse. That's who he was playing with. A liar. You're a liar, so you come off. You attract other liars. And it's no passion. All of this is stress and mental anguish. You have been, you punked yourself as defeat with the Five of Swords. Okay? The Ace of Wands is in reverse. The Seven of Swords. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay? There's something about it, though. This King of Pentacles is like, I can't make this stick. It's very stubborn energy. Something's blocking this shit from working. Why was he trying to make you fall in love with him? Because he needed your energy. What he thought he did. These was these, these hocus pocuses. Okay. These tricksters, these liars, these thieves, these manipulative energies. Okay. The reason it doesn't work is because this is your counterpart. It doesn't work because you are, are denying who you really are. You forgot where you came from. You forgot what you stand for because you hang around other lazy people who don't want to do the work. They'd rather rob, steal, and kill for it. Ace of Pentacles right here. Okay? They wanted your gifts. They wanted what you can come to the table with because it brings them great fortune in their life. And if you're not careful with that King of Wands energy, that, that miser, inflexible, stubborn asshole, ratchet, arrogant, fast, hypersexual, sexualized energy, that predatorial energy, that overly aggressive energy, that tyranny energy. If you don't stop with that shit, you are going to be the curse. You're going to bring a curse on your life, okay? And you only qualify to be with pettier people. It's going to be a cycle that's going to continue. Okay, for another, I don't know, however many years. So he's realizing he can't play with you like that. And he realized why he can't play with you like that. And then the same is like the telepathic message or how it came to you in a dream. It came to him in a dream too. So both of y'all know. Okay, he can't play you as long as you're with these, these trickster people. These jealous competitive people, you have to stay there. You won't graduate from that. You can't get to this person who you put the diamond in the coat and the coat is on her. That's why she got that key. And she's going to take and the, the karmic retribution, the justice for her is that the fool card is on there. Take a risk and go make something more tangible with you and all his all your valuable assets. If it's going to be you by yourself, okay, in peace and tranquil, you're taking time to breathe out. If it's just going to be you, you're going to be twice as successful. How are you going to be twice as successful? Because you're not, you 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 have the, the value and the self-worth and not waiting for this person while this person wants to play stupid games to win stupid prizes. That's exactly where he's at. He's in that cornball lane and that energy with these immaturities, okay? With these page of cups. It's a no with the eight of wands in reverse. It's a no. It will be a get out or be thrown out, Okay. You, you ain't got to worry. So now you have the mental clarity with the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. You're being protected from all kinds of attacks coming your way because you're the gift. And so is this man. And this man might have shapeshift to come off twice as powerful and twice as resourceful playing in your energy. Hmm. No. Okay. And he attracted some real like LaBrujas. People who do this shit for a living, like you, if you're a, a super disciplined religious person, yes, these people are super religious and disciplined in what they do on the, in the darker realm of things. Like there are people who really take this shit serious. Okay, it's not all fluff for everybody. Some people really don't know what they're doing with it, and there are some people who really take it serious. And I think that's the people that's around him. That's that he's starting to attract people that really take that shit serious because he met you. Now he he sees like twice is amplified because his, his heightened intuition like people smell that shit they can smell it look 
with the emperor, the moon, and the star. Expression, gifts, and originality, okay? You praying for him is fucking helping him fuck up. Fuck up what he's supposed to be doing with you. That's all his accountabilities is supposed to be with you. It's a higher purpose about you and him. And until so he straighten that shit up, you got to use discernment with, with him coming off all super. He can, He's very obsessed with you. This is all the shit that he did to you was coming back on him. He's the one obsessed with you now. All in love with you. Like he been in love with you. He been knew you. He been loved you and knew you. But now he's like super obsessed about it because he has to sit with it. While you take time to breathe out, he got to work on his personal issues. And it reaches a, a resolution where God told you, you're only stealing from yourself. So you have free will to do what you want, but you, you can't have her. Okay? Because as long as she's in an upright and you're in reverse, that's, that makes it a misfit. It's not, it's not, you're incompatible. And you salty. He's salty. He's very salty. With this king and queen of swords in reverse. That's all you're going to get is you in the reverse and you're going to attract another bitch that's in reverse. They came out right next to each other in reverse. No, with the eight of wands in the upright. No apologies needed. Okay, it's just an, oppor um, uh, an opportunity. It's like the ace of pentacles is still in the upright, but it's going to be the wrong people taking advantage of that opportunity with this person. Like you gave it to the wrong person. He said, it's like you you talked all this shit about what you can come to the table with. And technically he wasn't lying. But then he had to realize, he had to chuckle to himself. I put the diamond in the coat and I put the coat on her. It's all with her. And she done started her life elsewhere without me. I got to catch up to her. But there's no point in going after her if, if you still in predatorial energy. Why are you in predatorial energy? Because he won't pull his shit together. You won't separate yourself from stupid people. It's not that they're stupid. It's just stupid of you to be around those people. I mean, it is stupid in a way. You're not serving God. Who else you serving? The devil. And it's just that simple. So Aquarius, how would you, what is it? What is it that there's nothing you can do? I don't even have a question. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you're trying to do. But that's that that part of that energy you keep picking up on. It's like you're not gonna wear me out. The world card. What's the world card? What was the world card? Because that's finishing up something. That's closing out a cycle for something new. Endings and new beginnings. Something has to close. Five of Wands in reverse. Is in the upright down here, but in reverse here. He can't fight. He can't do that to you. Okay? I don't want to fight no more. I guess not. His feelings and his feelings hurt. I don't want to fight no more. I I, I want to reach a resolution. I'm, he's going to reach a resolution. You know why? Because what's on the bottom? The Empress. I can't fight with my Empress. I, I can't do that. <laughs> Okay, I want to, if you're going to peaceful waters, I'm coming with you. Um, oh, okay, the four of wands was left on the table. You dig? I'm sorry. That, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it! Okay, okay, my gifts is heightened and I'm supposed to be accountable for my, for my actions. An emperor takes accountability over himself and other people. Okay, so I can't stand next to you twisted, you know, I can't do, I can't, I don't know, it's, it's just, I just can't, I, I throw my hands up, I can't, it's, not, it's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing I can do, okay, there's nothing I can do, you're only dealing with the facts, all right, Aquarius, I don't know what to call this reading, it's just a premonition. It's a very, I tried to explain it as much as I could, but somebody's so choked up in their emotions, they can't get their words out because their heart chakra is open and so is their crown chakra. Okay? And you were used by the Most High to help this person do it. That's what it is. 
Okay, so now he, he it's like you got heightened expression, heightened gifts, and your originality really connects with this person, or they connect with you, Lilith and Aquarius, Aquarius, wherever placement Aquarius is, is at in your chart, because because you're a philanthropist, so you're a humanitarian, and so were they. So what do I want to say? They can't get their emotions out because they're overwhelmed. It's like a kid who gets so excited trying to tell you something, they can't get their words out. You got to tell them, take time to breathe out. It's take your time. Okay, it's a lot I need to say. It's like you. It's like when you have that extra layer of skin where you can see things that most people can't. It's you can go past what the two eyes can see, and it's like you can you can see people's spirit for what it is. All the black the black blotches, the black spots all over people's spirit, as well as the good ones. Okay, and that you can do, except submit to it submissive energy is is a thing he's learning how to be submissive first to the most high because he want that empress okay i de i deserve to be happy i deserve what i'm supposed to have i'm deserve to have the finer things all these people who are like the seven of cups and the magicians like manipulating people you could be date raping people and i say that and i say it loosely because you get high with people in hopes that i'm going to fuck them because i'm making them fall in love with me with the magician and the seven of cups now you attracted women who do the same shit now you feel you feel taken advantage of or you feel like this is nasty and and wet and nasty but it was nasty when you was doing it too with the hermit the tower card and the hermit so you you stay in you're called to stay in introspection, Aquarius, with the Hermit card, okay? Because that's an Emperor in reverse, but it puts you in that space because all you do is pick up on his predatorial energy. It's like an Emperor out of whack, okay? And it's keeping you grounded. So you could be fasting to lower those desires and all those those overwhelming emotions and intensity that you're picking up from this person. Mm -hmm. And he got the tower because you're in the hermit. Both of y'all got the same dream. If I haven't said that enough, both of y'all got told by the most high what you're supposed to be doing. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe until next time.